The following content may make you hungry. Viewer discretion is advised. I am really going to regret this video. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video where today books are going to control what I eat. I watch so many of these videos that I decided to do it for myself. Am I gonna hate it? Probably. <laughs> um, so I have a bunch of books next to me and it is currently 10 o'clock in the morning. I am exhausted and I need some coffee, but I can't just go and get myself coffee because I have to find a book where someone's drinking coffee. So the rules for this video is that I have to flip to a random page and whatever is on the page is what I will eat or drink. And so if it's not on the page, then I'll just skip to another page, which is probably going to take so long. So I have my book next to me and this is going to be fun and probably torture at the same time. So if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't. Um, I'm gonna pick the first book. So I have a stack of books next to me of books that just have food in them. Um, you can't even really see it because you're on the tripod. But... but here they are. <laughs> I don't know what book is going to have coffee in it. I was easily going to pick Coffee Boy by Austin Chant, my favorite book, but I have that on my Kindle and like scrolling is like too much. So I'm just going to look through a book and hope that they have coffee. Like I am going to search for a book because I need coffee and I'm really tired and I just woke up and I just need some coffee so please any of these books please for the love of god have coffee in them i'm just gonna go with fangirl because i feel like there's gonna be coffee in this but the thing is is i'm not gonna be able to use the same book and i wanted to use this for a snack because i know that she eats um protein bars but i'm just gonna have to look let's let's do this i can't use the same book for every meal so i'm gonna check fangirl because i know that this probably has coffee in it. What? I am shooketh. What? Are the odds that the page I flipped to literally has coffee on it, but it has decaf. I'm fine with that. I am fine with the decaf coffee. This literally says he handed her his coffee decaf while he laced up his shoes. Shooketh. Let's fucking go. Like, are you serious right now? That was amazing. Oh my god, that was amazing. I'm about to go make a decaf coffee and it's gonna be lit. Like, I'm excited. <laughs> I, I'm gonna show you for like actual proof, but I'm gonna go make a coffee and I will be back for breakfast because I need to know what to make for breakfast as well, but wow, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> I am beginning to regret this coffee. <laughs> I'm very tired and decaf is just making me more tired and I don't like that. I am exhausted <laughs> and this is just making me more tired but I can't go to sleep. 
Maybe I need to eat something, but I think I'm gonna try and finish this coffee and then pick something because I don't even know what's for breakfast. With the first one being something that I actually wanted and like was thinking about and saying into the world, hopefully we'll go on a good path. Like I'm looking to go on a good path, but I'm also exhausted so I don't even know what I'm saying. If you want more videos like this, go over to my reading routines control my day. That was a really fun video and it's kind of like this so I recommend. It's currently 11.35 a.m. and I I am exhausted. This is making me so tired. I regret everything this morning when I was so excited that I got coffee and then realized it was decaf and I was like, it's cool. It'll be fine. No, I could honestly take a nap right now. I'm here to pick something to eat because hopefully that'll wake me up. I hate everything. <laughs> so I don't even know what book is going to have breakfast in it. Like I feel very confident, but then at the same time, who even knows? So how I did this last night is that I put together all the books that I know have food in them. Um, but I picked them based on like what I know they have. The majority of them have like lunch, dinner, and snacks. So that was what was in my head until I realized that I was actually doing this. I'm not like a big breakfast person, so I would like to get either toast, cereal, or like just something that I can make. Like I can make French toast, I have waffles, like I can make that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go with This Adventure Ends and just see what's in there. So I'm just gonna flip to a random page and hope that there's food on the page or it has to do with breakfast. <laughs> Yo, I am fucking scoring, but I don't... Okay. So the first thing I see on the page is not liking Cool Ranch, and that's like dialogue, and so I'm like, okay, that must be chips. And then the other, like the sentence above says, he has a bag of chips, which he opens loudly and holds in my direction. I shake my head. Kind of weird, isn't it? Not liking Cool Ranch. I gesture to the bag. So I guess he's eating Cool... Or somebody is eating Cool Ranch Doritos. I don't think I have them here, but it would be amazing if I did, but I think I actually just threw them out because they were stale, so I might have to go back because I honestly am not eating chips for breakfast. <laughs> just starting off very strong in this video, but um, I'm gonna see if we have any chips. Um, I don't know if we have any, but I'm just gonna check, and if not, like, I mean, I mean, I know we have chips, but we don't have Cool Ranch chips, but I don't know if there was, like, I mean, yes, obviously they're implying that it is, but does it really matter? Like, I could just have chips and call it a day. So that's probably what I'm going to have for breakfast is chips because that's what's happening. I know I have some chips. I have some veggie chips, so I guess that's what I'm going to eat for breakfast. <laughs> so I wanted cereal, but now I'm getting chips. Um, yeah. Really starting this video off strong. Got my decaf coffee and my chips. And it's only 11.30 in the morning. Hello, it is approaching one o'clock. So it is time to pick a book for lunch. And this determines whether I have to go shopping or not. Um, I have to kind of go grocery shopping anyway, so this would be fine. But I don't really have anything, so I don't even know what I'm going to get. Um, there's like so many options, but I don't know. I'm kind of like stumped on this one. So I think I'm just going to pick a random book and see. So here are the two books that I've already used. I've used Fangirl and I've used This Adventure Ends. I finished my chips kind of. I still have my coffee. I'm not even going to finish it because it's just making me so tired. And so hopefully I get a coffee that isn't decaf because I'm just exhausted 
and the chips were not helping either. <laughs> when I tweeted out today that this video was going to be torture, I'm in it. <laughs> but it's actually fun, so I'm really not complaining, but I'm just really exhausted from the decaf coffee. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to go with this because this has McDonald's in it, so I could either get McDonald's for lunch. I don't really eat McDonald's, like I don't eat it at all, so that's going to be interesting if I get that. Um, and we'll see. So I guess I'm just going to start with this, and here we go. Page 98, or 99. I see, so she works at McDonald's, so it says, at the end of the, at the end of my shift, I serve myself an enormous fountain Coke, a sugary prize for making it through the PDA Fest. I grab an equally large, huge box of fries after I see them making out in the locker room when I leave. Um... So I guess a Coke and fries, but I'm gonna see if there's like anything else because I need something to eat. So I have a Coke, fries, and let's see what else is here. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. I'm just gonna check one more time. This is like weird because like I don't eat McDonald's. Like I mean it's probably fine, but I'm not like a I'm a five guys kind of person. Um Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So apparently Here's the next thing that I see. It's a chocolate protein bar. I think that I might have one of those. Um, so my lunch is going to be a chocolate protein bar, a large fry from McDonald's, and a large Coke, I guess. Which honestly good because maybe the Coke will like help me wake up with caffeine. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I could just order it and then go somewhere and go grocery shopping for dinner um so I'm gonna go and get that and I'll see you guys when I have food bye what's good guys got my protein bar it is a chocolate chip cookie dough protein bar by Luna I've never had one of these before um so first time for everything new uh, I honestly can't even talk because I'm so tired. Um, Non-GMO and gluten-free. 12 grams of protein. <laughs> so since this is protein, this is basically like my protein of the meal. Then I have my reusable straw for my Coke. And then my fries, I guess, are in here. I need to take a thumbnail. I should have gotten my book. First, I'm gonna take a sip of this because I am so tired. I never knew I needed that until now. I'm normally not a fan of Coke. I'm more of a Pepsi kind of guy, but uh, this is what the book told me to eat and drink, so. I feel like this video would be better if I were actually like enthusiastic and like had some emotion, but I'm so tired from that decaf coffee that I, I don't know if you can like tell, but I am just so tired. Now I'm gonna eat this. I should probably eat this too. So I'll just show you me actually eating this and then I'm gonna read and chill until maybe like th two, three o'clock I'll have a snack because it's 1.30 right now. So maybe I'll do that. Um. Or we'll just see, because I'm probably going to be hungry, honestly. This is fine. I don't have any problems with it. But I just think that this is just not a combination. Like this with the McDonald's fries and with the Coke. Like, I'm just, this is not So it's currently 3.38. 
I ate lunch. I still have my soda from McDonald's, which is actually really helping me. And I'm like less tired than I was, but right now I need to go food shopping and just get some things because my parents are out of town for a couple days, so I need to get stuff. Right now I'm going to the store and I need to pick my dessert because if I'm going to the store, I just want to be able to get everything. So I am going to get a couple of things just in case this happens, but... I need to pick my dessert and things like just in case like I want a snack later I need to pick that because this is a 24-hour challenge and I can't cheat I'm really in the mood to bake and I really want to make some sugar cookies But if I want to make anything a book has to tell me what I'm making so that's why I'm doing this clip right now Let's get to the books <laughs> I need to know what I'm going to be baking. I have To All the Boys I Love Before, the infamous book about baking. Um, and here we go. 202. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite scene. This is where they get maple donuts, but they haven't like said it, but I know that they have. Oh, well, this is them just talking about the cakes they like. <sighs> um, so on this page, they're talking about the favorite cakes that they like. And I see a red velvet, um, which I love red velvet. But this just says a bunch, so I could honestly just pick one. So I would maybe pick red velvet. I don't really like making cakes and cupcakes like it's so boring to me and I hate having to ice it and all and I'm like really dramatic about it but if I can find something that I can eat that is like a red velvet cake at the store then I'll just buy that and call it a day because I just don't feel like making it but if I can find some cookies in here because that is what I'm looking for then that's what I'll do. So. See, I like know this book so well that like I know what I could flip to, but I don't want to like, I don't want to cheat. So here we go. Chapter 26. They're in a bookstore. So there's nothing here. Lara Jane, where are the cookies? I should have picked like the second book or something. So I guess for dessert, I have the red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting, which I am totally about. So I'm gonna go to the store, get the things that I need to get, and then I will be back at five for dinner. So I will see you guys then. Peace. Hi, it is currently 5.15. I just got back from the store and I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. I have a story because obviously every video I do, nothing ever works out. And Luna is currently eating her food so she can hear her in the background. That's what that is. Red velvet cake mix and cream cheese frosting because I go to the store and they're having a sale where it's like all the baked goods that are from the bakery are like five dollars or something and I'm like oh cool sweet I go and they don't have red velvet. They have chocolate, chocolate cookie, like cookies and cream. They have chocolate fudge. They have funfetti. They have birthday. They have vanilla. Like they have every flavor, but red velvet. So I'm gonna make a cake. And I only have one thing of frosting because when I was at the checkout, I had two, but I realized that it wasn't the same. So we only have one. And so hopefully that will cover a whole cake. I'm just gonna try and make a small one with like whatever I have because I really just wanted to get like a small one from the store but apparently they don't have that and I even tried to look like in just like the cupcakes and like that kind of like already processed stuff. Nothing. So I'm offended. I'm offended as a red velvet lover. I'm sure Peter K he would be really offended as well and I'm just offended and pissed off that it's so hot outside and now I have to make a cake. So now it's five o'clock and I need to eat dinner. So I'm gonna go over to the couch and I'll see you guys there with my next book. 
What's up guys? Now I'm going to pick what I'm going to eat for dinner. I just got a comment on my Instagram post that actually said that Sarah Dessen, her books have a lot of food references. So she wrote, Saint Anything has fries in it. So I'm gonna try with this. I already had fries, but I'm just gonna see what's in here. I really want pizza. So I'm hoping that we get pizza in this. I also have the big F, which I know has pizza in it too. And if not, I have the two other Sarah Dessens. It is um, this lullaby and someone like you. So I have some options and I'm just gonna get started. So I have three attempts, so three strikes and I'm out, kind of like baseball. <laughs> so I have three flips and I have to flip to another book. So let's hope for the best here. Yo, what's up? What is good? Yes. Um, so I am guessing that they must work at a pizza shop because this says, I slid back into the booth opposite Layla who was now digging into her second slice. Unlike fries, her pizza was consumed in somewhat normal way, folding in half lay taco and proceeding from tip to crust. Isn't that the only way to eat it? Basically they're eating pizza and I'm gonna get pizza and I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, and then I am saying that I think that they, um, work there because it says, she's like texting someone, it says an hour or so, you don't have to cook. But then I see another thing that said like, Mac was tossing the crust now using both hands to shape and thin it. So I guess like they're either making pizza or they work at a pizza shop. Um, so the big F, I'm just going to see like if I can get a drink or just like, something to go with it because if I'm, I, cause I feel like if I'm just ordering a pizza, like I kind of want to order things with it instead of just like spending, like, I know there's some places that like, I, if I want a delivery, it has to be a certain amount. So hopefully I get like a side or something. I don't really want to get fries cause like I already had fries today for lunch. So I don't really want that. So let's see. Um, page 56. Nothing. Nothing. Last blip. This is amazing. Like, let's go. Dinner is amazing and great because I just read a par. I just read a sentence that says. <laughs> a loud group of Denton Community College partiers flowed in through the door behind us. A few of the girls singing a horrible radio pop song in about three different keys. Zoe poured more coffee while I, people watched. And I'm sure that Zoe isn't having a decaf coffee. And I'm gonna get to have the coffee of my dreams today. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Coffee makes me really happy. <laughs> well, I guess I'm having pizza and coffee. This ain't anything they didn't like specify, so I guess I'm just gonna do what I usually get. I just get a pepperoni and then I'm gonna make me some coffee, which probably is not the best combination, but I don't have to drink a decaf coffee and that is everything. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I'm gonna order my pizza and I will see you guys then when the pizza arrives. Peace. my coffee the pizza's on its way and i'm gonna have to go back out to get oil because there's no oil for this fucking cake no oil in the house i thought we had oil i was looking at oil today in the store so now i'm gonna have to go walk back over to the store to get oil here's the pizza gonna open it i'm so excited for it. Got the oil. Let's bake a fruit. 
freaking cake and you probably can't even see me. This looks like blood. Well, I was trying to put this on the cake holder thing to make it look nice, but the cake ended up breaking. Me and the cake have just had a very bad day today. We don't like each other, it's a love-hate relationship. So there's the cake. What's up guys, it's the next day and I ended up completing the challenge in 24 hours. I did eat and drink everything that books told me to eat for 24 hours and I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of stress, but I had a lot of fun making this. So if you did enjoy it, go and hit subscribe if you haven't. I've saw that 50% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So go and hit subscribe for another video like this and hit the bell icon and give this video a like if you enjoyed it for another video. If you want me to do like a theme or something, let me know in the comments. I would like to do like my favorite books or authors I haven't read or just anything like that. Or if you have a book that you know has food in it, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's the video. I would love to see other booktubers do this. So if you do end up doing this, don't forget to tag me and credit me as the original creator. Thank you guys for watching. I had so much fun making this. If you would like to support these videos, I do have a Patreon. It's only a dollar to get everything. It will be in the end screen and down below if you want to check it out because these videos are very money consuming. So if you would like to see more videos like this, especially the Starbucks video that I made, I would really appreciate if you could go over there and become a patron only for a dollar and it would really help out my channel. So that is the video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I will see you next time.